Okay. Um, I think I'm back now. I was like, this is not working with my phone. Okay. So let me, let me uh, share my screen. Okay. Because y'all, I got some information and this. Uh, okay. All right. Cool. Um, now this is going to be so much better. Um, let me just edit the title because I just feel like doing that right now. Okay. So basically though, what I want to do is I was trying to show you my new funnel, but I also wanted to show you the reality of what a funnel looks like, because again, I don't want a lot of people to have this kind of false, uh, uh expectations of like, yes, just when I start a funnel, like it's going to automatically work. You have to make it work. But again, having a funnel, having, come on now. Okay. You know what? We're not going to type that right now. We'll type that later. Anyways. Um, I just wanted to update that. Okay. So I just wanted you to have the understanding that you have to make the funnel work for you. But again, one of the most beautiful parts about using a system, using a funnel is vision. Okay. A lot of times we are doing random promotions, randomly promoting all day. And then if it doesn't work, we don't have a system to help us figure out if it's, oh my God, what is the title? No, no, that is not the title. I just realized the title of the video is so crazy. Um, uh, let me fix that because that is going to literally drive me nuts. Okay. Um, but the systems give you vision. And if you saw the post that I had made yesterday, um, I talk about how, I talk about how um, systems don't have to be complicated. Okay. Initially to start with your system, it could be as easy as writing it down. But the whole point is that if you don't really know the steps that you're taking to, you know, get the results that you want, then how can you actually ever go back and troubleshoot? Right. So if you're doing all these random different things, but you don't have points in which you can optimize it, you're always going to be shooting in the dark. You're always going to be throwing, you know, spaghetti at the wall. That's kind of where that, that saying comes from and hoping, you know, to see what sticks. So systems give you vision, all right? So I wanna show you this new system that, I mean, yeah, this new system that I put together. If you have seen some of my past trainings, the autopilot trainings, I like to work smart, not hard. I also love the 10X rule. Also to, just so you know, like the 10X rule is also a biblical principle, right? The story of the king who gives his patrons money and then someone amplifies like the money when they come, when they, when he comes back, someone kind of does okay with the money and then someone stores the money. But then what happens to the person that amplified the money the most, the king gave him 10 times his reward. So 10X rule is a biblical principle, right? Work smarter, not harder. If there's, if you're going to put energy into something, like, why not get multiple benefits instead of trying to do everything separately? So I say that to say, I love making my lead and sales funnel merge together. Okay. I don't do it separately. So now I'm showing you, this is the beginning stage of a new funnel. This idea just came to me and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do this. And this was something I hadn't done before. And now I'm showing you the process in which to get this funnel to generate $10,000 for me on autopilot. Okay. Cause I don't want to just show you the end result and be like, Hey, yeah, here's 10 K. I want to show you what it now takes for me to actually achieve that and what systems allow me to the vision that it allows me to have. Okay. Ooh, I need to turn on my little um, app, my crisp app, so that the dogs, because they're barking, um, that they don't bark crazy. Anyways, okay. So, and then let me make sure that you guys can hear me too, because if I turn this app on, I know last time I did that, uh, my sound went out. Um, okay, cool. Anyways, whatever. Who cares? This is not even like a real life. So if they bark, they bark. So 
Now you see, this is the back end um, stats of my actual funnel. This is where the magic actually happens. So when you actually put your funnel together, um, hold on, let me make sure you guys can hear me because I just switched to the crisp app. Uh, do, 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 do. Can you guys still hear me? If anyone is even on here, just let me know because um, the noise cancellation app just turned on. Let me just double check. And testing, testing. Okay, cool. Yeah, it still works. So <clears throat> I put my funnel together, right? If you've seen some of my past trainings, it is my opt-in page. I take you to a break-even offer because I want to get paid to grow my email list. And then it takes you to your um, the download or the thank you page, whatever it is that the, the funnel is about. And then you saw in my autopilot training, if you haven't, just let me know. I'll send you the link to it. Um, then it transfers them to the sales page, right? So I combine my lead and sales systems into one funnel. And I also always include a tiny offer because again, I want to get paid to grow my email list. I don't want to pay to grow my email list. I want to get paid. So let's break this funnel down a little bit, right? So you see here that we have the opt-in page, okay? That's just basically where people put their information, right? Most importantly, I'm going to highlight the major benefits that you get from a system, okay? Social media is amazing, but you don't own that data. You always want to collect your emails because you can move them from email service provider to email service provider. You can move them anywhere. You can plug that data into um, any ads platform. So you always get to have that data. So collecting emails is one of my most favorite things. Also, Another benefit of this is that emails can get expensive as you start to grow your list quantity. So you want to make sure that you don't have an email list full of freebie hoarders, that you actually have an email list that pays you, okay? That's why I always say it's important to get paid to grow your email list because if you have 9,000 people sitting there that hasn't paid you, you're still chucking out that five $600 bill to, to hold that information. So that's why it's very important to have this tiny offer. So you see here, we had 907 people opt in. So from this one lead magnet, uh, 907 new email contacts. Uh, I'm not gonna go into the details. I talk about this, how like the, the data on ClickFunnels is different. This basically means sometimes people, you know, opt in multiple times um, because they have, you know, different browsers or different email addresses. But basically I like to focus on the unique numbers, um, which is 907. Then we see here that 18 people have taken the tiny offer. Okay, so that has translated into $653.10, which again means getting paid to grow your email list. Then of course they uh, watch the mini course and then they, uh, you know, if they're interested, they move to the next step, they go to the sales page and you can see here, now one person has been nurtured to then opt into the sales page, which equated it to a $1,026.95 sale. Why, is these, why are these numbers important? And why are these stats important? And why is having this process of this journey that my customer is going through important? Because now this is where the real work comes in, where I can now make certain changes and wiser decisions based on this data, based on these numbers in order to increase these sales, increase these conversions, okay? So let me just show you really quickly how that happens, all right? So we can back it up to the opt-in. So what my goal now would be is I want more people in, into this funnel. So that tells me that I need to go back and look at all the places that I marketed this lead magnet and look at my conversions in a sense of, there were some groups that I promoted this in and it did not get a lot of engagement. There's some groups that I promoted a certain style script in and, you know, I got a thousand comments. Now, what does that tell me? It means that I can make a decision to improve my messaging for my for attracting the right followers. That's one uh, analysis I can take away. Or I can also say to myself, um, am I putting it in the right places? as well. But now I can make that decision based on these numbers, because if you spent 30 days promoting and you could barely even get a hundred people into your lead magnet, 
has nothing to do with your lead magnet. It is your messaging and what you're offering and if you understand your audience and where you're promoting it. So this number helps me make that determining factor, right? Because the first thing at, at this stage is I just want more people, more targeted people, okay? Now, the next thing I could look at is the tiny offer. So I see here that it's a very low conversion rate, albeit great, because like I said, I got paid $700 almost to grow my email list, but this conversion rate is really low. So what is that? What, what analysis can I take away from this? I can say to myself, I could say maybe the tiny offer isn't relevant. So maybe I can split test a, another offer, right? And, and, and you know, always split test. Don't just outright change things. Because if you outright change things, you may not know what contributing factor actually equated to like the better results. And then also too, you might like the other one could be better. And it's like, how do you go back to it? So split test. So I can try a different offer or before I even try a different offer, maybe I need to adjust the messaging on this tiny offer to make it even more irresistible, right? Because I want to increase that conversion rates. And if you listen to some of my trainings before, the two major things that you want to do, which is why you have systems is in your business in order to grow it is either more targeted traffic, which is so much easier to do, right? Just go and find more targeted traffic and you can pay for that too, or increase your conversions. Increasing your conversions is generally a lot more harder. It's a lot harder than increasing your traffic, but when you master your conversions, whoo, Amazing. Okay. So conversions though, usually come down to really understanding how you use your messaging in relation to the needs of your ideal audience. So again, it takes a little bit more work, but again, looking at this, these are, these are two wise choices I can make. Okay. Either changing my offer or clarifying the messaging of my offer. Okay. Now, here's the next thing that I look at. So if I have 907 people opt in, I can see that only 281 of them have actually made it to the mini course itself, to, to the lead magnet itself. So what does that tell me? That tells me I have people that opted in, but I need to get them, I need to get more eyeballs on this mini course because I know that this lead magnet, this, this value that I have, is really amazing. And so it is still my job. You know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink, but it is still my job to guide you there and articulate the value to a certain point when you time out of my automation. And then it's like, you know, we move on with life. So how does that, what is this telling me? Well, with this, I can now go, which I'm not going to open up and go into too much detail, but now I can go into my lead nurture automation sequence that's attached to this. And I can look and say, because my, if you were in my past training, my lead, your lead nurture automation sequence, generally speaking, is to get your lead to consume the lead magnet and actually get that promise that you made inside of the lead magnet. That's important because you don't want to send them all kinds of, you know, crazy information. If you know you have a powerful lead magnet that if someone consumes it and gets that result, they're going to move to the next stage, which is sales, then that's what your initial automation and nurturing is supposed to do. So I can say to myself, well, maybe I need to get more, um, maybe I need to get tighter on my email automation, which again, that goes into a whole separate um, analysis, right? Better email, uh, uh, subject lines, email copy, uh, call to actions, right? But again, guess what? This is decisions, okay? Hey, Jay, happy, happy belated birthday. <laughs> Anything green. Um, so because now let's take it a step further. So I had 281 people actually consume the mini course and almost half of them clicked then into the sales page, which again, my lead funnel marries into my sales funnel. So now I'm like, okay, because if I had even more, right? If I had 907 people uh, uh, click in, that's more eyeballs, which again is more, uh, more opportunity for sales, right? So if I had now 146 people come to the sales page, 46 people decided they wanted to take the next step and, and move forward, right? Now, that's another factor that I can look at. Yes, that 31% is a great conversion rate, but how can I make it better? How can I make my sales page better? How can I make it more enticing? But then most importantly, yes, they want to take the next step, 
But let's look at this, only 2.86% actually converted into a sale. So that shows me I have to get better with the messaging. I have to get tighter with the messaging and I have to get more clarity to make those 46 people then say yes. So this is the power of being able to have a system that gives you real time data that allows you to make wise decisions. If I didn't have this, I would try, I would be spending every single day trying to make random promotions, not knowing what works. Now, what do I actually spend my time doing? Getting more people into the funnel so I have more data more targeted people into the funnel. And then guess what? I can do that a lot wiser. And now at this point, increasing my conversions. So it's about learning the messaging, learning what really, you know, my audience needs to hear that's going to make this a, you know, holy yes, where they're like, yeah, I, I need to sign up. Okay. But if you don't have these visuals and these eyeballs, then how do you know, right? If you're sending people to your sales page and you're not making any sales because you can't even like, you know, look at these sales conversions or your processes, it makes it very difficult. Now, but here's the also the beautiful thing about this is that through this entire process, I was able to close someone in this new funnel with an over a $1,000 purchase without ever having to talk to them. That's another benefit, okay? We just talked about the benefits of now being able to move more intentionally, being better with your time, knowing where to spend your time, right? Having more clarity and confidence. But let's talk about the fun part. This whole time, this funnel is running for me on autopilot and literally was able to get someone to say, yeah, I'm going to spend $1,000 with you. I have not talked to you. I've never you know, met you or seen you. I've not jumped on a sales call. I've not jumped on a DM or anything like that. Your funnel has basically taken me through a really amazing customer experience and a really amazing customer journey, okay? So that is basically it on my little uh, funnel training. So I wanted to show you that, you know, out the gate, when you, especially when you are starting something new, that this is the process, this is the testing process, right? Because again, I don't want to always show you when a funnel hits 10K or when I hit 10K, you know, or, you know, when I make a, a bunch of sales from something, I want to show you the process of how I actually get to that point is by using my data, making smart decisions and seeing what I'm doing. Cause right. Cause we only have a limited amount of time throughout the day. I don't spend my whole entire day on my business. I have my Yafa time. I have my you know, I'm like a toddler. I need my hour nap time. Okay. Um, I have the other parts of my life. I have time with my Bible study. I have other things that I need to be doing. So when I am working on my business, I need as much clarity and vision as I can possibly give myself so that I am making sure that I am doing the most impactful thing. I don't know if anybody is familiar with like James Clear and Atomic Habits, but he is, uh, that is a really amazing book. Um, I think that that is something that I would definitely uh, recommend for people. But he also has a uh, weekly newsletter where every Thursday he sends you um, some thoughts, some words of wisdom in a very short, like straight to the point newsletter. And this week, but yesterday was about priority prioritization, making the most of, you know, what you have. So one of the things that he says is, you know, before you ask yourself, what should I do today? Ask yourself, what should I remove today, right? Create the space that you need to succeed. And that kind of touches on what I talked about yesterday, which is focusing on the 20% of your business that matters. The only way that you can do that is if you actually have the vision of what it is that you are doing and then learning how to prioritize. So in that newsletter, he also mentioned that in the long run, prioritization beats efficiency. And I definitely agree with it because you can be really amazing and efficient with your tasks. But if you have not prioritized your high level task, which generally speaking is usually the task you don't want to do, then you end up, you know, with this false sense of productivity, right? Where you're doing all these other things that that are, yeah, it, they matter, but they're not the big picture that actually moves the big needle in your business. So it's really, systems give you so many benefits, but in terms of the vision, it's also going to help you give clarity on where it is you need to actually spend your time. So instead of me running around doing random sales and random promos, I know that my time needs to be better messaging to attract more targeted people. 
and increasing my conversions by learning more about my audience and getting better with my words. Because whether you're doing, whether you get on sales calls or you send them to sales pages, you're still going to have to understand your audience and you're still going to have to choose the right words, okay? The right words that make them feel inspired to take action, to make them feel like the decision to sign up for your offer is what they want to do, okay? So that's why having some type of systemization of what it is you're doing helps you get clarity, helps you get vision, helps you focus on the 20% that matters, helps you actually prioritize the things that you need to get done so that you can actually move the needle. That's This is a, a huge reason why a lot of people take one step forward and two steps back or also feel like they're just on a hamster wheel and wondering why their business isn't growing because they're like, I do so much every single day and I'm not getting or seeing any results. And a lot of the things that I talk about I literally speak from experience because I was, I suffered from high level procrastination. Okay. Which is where I spent a lot of time doing a lot of things that made me feel good because I checked them off the list versus avoiding that one big webinar. That's going to make me $10,000 in an hour because I don't really like, it's not necessarily an easy task. And you know, it's, gosh, I spent all day working on a webinar versus like, look at these 20 things I checked off a list, right? So there's that high level procrastination that you want to avoid and systems really just, man, I can't tell you how many external and internal benefits that they, they offer. And I will just literally preach it till the cows come home because of the shift and the changes that I see in myself, right? And I consider myself a doer. I know a lot of you out there are doers. I like to get stuff done. I like to do stuff, right? I'm not the queen of 90%. Like if it doesn't, it's not a good fit. I'm not going to do it anymore. And if it's a good fit, I'm going to see it to the end. But at the same time, we have to get out of our own way and systems definitely help us get out of our own way. So I'm excited um, to my people that are in followers to sales, you get all of this. Okay. Like you literally already have access to all of this and on the calls on Thursday is when we go over implementation. So if you've missed any of the calls, like two Thursdays ago, I walked through this whole process with Lori so that she can have her own, you know, lead and, and sales system. But Yes. So I'm excited. Happy freaky Friday, guys. It is like such seriously such a good day. Um, and again, I'm just now showing you the process of what it takes to make something work. Cause I don't want anyone to have the false perception that everything I do immediately turns to gold. Yes, I do have the Midas touch, but I have to make the Midas touch actually work. Okay. There is a system. There is a process to making things work. Um, and then uh, lastly, uh, I think, yeah, one of the new lessons that I'm going to be adding for my F2S people, um, is a actually a more in-depth, uh, breakdown of how to troubleshoot your funnels. Let me just check my notes. Yeah. Troubleshoot your funnels once you have them built so that you have the same sort of mindset that I just walked through, um, uh, for yourself. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. Yes. Brandon, a good scripture. Isn't it so crazy? Um, Man, I'm telling you guys, all the answers are in the Bible. Hey, Paige. Jay, you are just so funny. Ashley. Okay, girl. Yes, I know you are like killing it. But when you are ready with the lead magnet section, definitely let me know because I have a, um, this basically this new funnel that I'm created is, is really amazing for course creators and coaches. And so, um, I don't have this one in the course, but I want to show you how to actually implement this one for yourself too, because it really just nails like why nails home, why your program is what they need to, um, do. So yeah, let me know when you're ready after you you're done looking at that co content, um, so that I can help you actually build out this version of the lead magnet, which is my mini course funnel. Um, but have fun at the park with Suba and his dinosaur outfit. Um, but yeah, uh, does anyone have any questions? You know, this was just a random live. Um, I hope my rice is ready because I am friggin' hungry. I'm about to go eat.
And then when I'm done eating, I'm going to come back and I have my own course that I need to watch. But does, yeah, does anybody have any questions on this? Any thoughts on this? Like I said, this was a random live and I am definitely all about um, transparency. I like, you know, if you were with me when we started this in January, I grew my Instagram page the same time I started the course with my students. One, because I'm like, don't tell me that you can't make this work. And look how many times I've tried lead magnet posts that get, you know, crickets, but like, do I give up? No, I just keep trying and, you know, just kind of leading by example. Um, so yeah, if there's any questions, let me know. If not, uh, I will save this a uh, little gem of a video um, and pin it and maybe add it to the guides or whatever. But yeah, it's Friday. Guys, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, Tony Ann, you know, girl, keep trying and keep tweaking. I mean, that's just the whole point. Like, we're never going to learn how to do something amazing unless you're a savant out the gate, right? Like, you know, unless you just have magical muscles, but it's like you're not going to do a hundred pull ups if you've never done pull ups before. <laughs> you know, you got to keep trying, but it's like we don't give ourselves that same grace when it comes to things like this. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll save this. If you guys have any questions later, let me know. I'm hungry, so I need to go and eat before my stomach starts growling on this um, video. And I don't want it recorded for all of life time. Um, but that is it. Let me stop sharing my screen and happy Friday. Love you guys so much. As always, I'm so grateful and thankful for your time. And if you have any questions on this, just drop them in and you already know, I will answer it when I feel like it. <laughs> all right. Bye. Happy Friday.